this lecture we'll be covering merge sort algorithm and this is a very good example of a recursive algorithm which works by breaking the data set up into two halves and recursively sorting each half when the two halves are sorted they are brought together using a merge routine so basically in simple words if we say we can divide the unsorted list into n sublists each containing one element a list of one element is considered sorted repeatedly merge sublists to produce new sorted sublists until there is only one sublist remaining this will be the sorted sublist so over here if you see we have created this merge sort method and we are just checking if the collection is not provided that means the current collection needs to be taken into consideration and here you can see we have divided the list into two collections left and right now here we have the middle value so in order to add items to left and right we are kind of first of all finding out the middle value so middle value is in a list dot count so whatever collection initially has been passed that list is then divided into two equal halves and one is called left the other one is called right after that what we do is we add items to the left and right lists as you can see over here so from zero to middle value we add items to the left and from middle to the last item we add in the right list and then again we send that list as an input to the merge sort method and the same goes for right as well when we have the left and right available to us we call the merge method which finally merges these two lists together and produces the sorted list so here we have the merge method you can see it is taking collection left and collection right as parameters and then here we have the condition if the left count is greater than zero or right count is greater than zero then we are just going inside and finding whether both left count and right count have items if yes then we go and check whether the first two elements are same or not and if it is less than or equal to then we go and add it to the left first and remove every other thing from the left and if that's not the case then we go and do the same with the right list if that's not the case then we check for left and right count respectively and do the same and finally we return the result so now if i go ahead and run this one you'll notice that here we are storing it in a separate list and then we are looping through that list so the sorted list is returned using this merge sort and if we run this one you'll notice the values are coming up over here 14 to 96 in a sorted order and the original list is displayed on top 96 to 96 over here so that's how merge sort works